What's going on, YouTube? This is College Football Central, and today I'll be talking about the quarterback situation in Athens. You know, how it could play out, what we've seen so far, and what we might expect to see going forward. Now, during the offseason, head coach Kirby Smart was able to bring in two transfers from other Power 5 schools. Former Wake Forest quarterback Jamie Newman committed to Georgia in early January, and five-star quarterback JT Daniels came over from Southern Cal in late May. Can't hit him low there. Now the BC fans are on their feet for this third down. Trying to find Washington. Touchdown! Roman Hulk, son of a pair of UCLA grads, picks up the first down and sets up this shot. St. Brown, touchdown Trojans, promptly taking advantage of the fourth down gamble. Although Georgia relies heavily on the run game, there is no doubt that they would need more depth under center after the loss of three-year starter Jake Fromm. As most people expected, there is going to be a battle between these two QBs who had experience in their respective conferences. Though Newman didn't have any flashy stars during his time in Winston-Salem, he managed to climb up to number three in the preseason Heisman favorites. I'd be lying if I said I believe the hype. Fast forward to September and, unexpectedly, Jamie Newman announces that he would be opting out of the 2020 season to get ready for the NFL draft. Now, of course, the assumption was that he might have lost the QB battle with JT Daniels, and at this point, it's looking like JT would be the clear choice for QB1 under the helmet. That's where Dewan Mathis and Stetson Bennett come into the conversation. Apparently, Daniels was still recovering from a knee injury that he had suffered against Fresno State in the 2019 season opener, so he wasn't cleared to play until week two. This led to the announcement of Dewan Mathis being named the starter to open up against Arkansas, but that ended very shortly after a poor first quarter performance against them. And we were just talking moments ago in the break, would we see a change at quarterback to try to kickstart this offense? And what about JT Daniels? Well, I think we got our answer. JT not ready to play yet. So Stetson Bennett getting the call. So when comes Stetson Bennett, AKA the mailman? a previous walk-on who had transferred from and back to Georgia. He has immediately turned head so far, but his most recent performance against Alabama has people questioning whether he should continue to lead the offense going forward. Now, Bennett did play well in the first half of this game, and the Dogs managed to get out to a 24-17 lead at the break. But in a game that Alabama head coach Nick Saban nearly missed, the Todd dominated the second half, outscoring Georgia 24-0 and forcing Bennett to throw for three interceptions. As we all know, JT Daniels is now cleared to play, so it'll be interesting to see who Coach Smart turns to, or even if he wants to utilize both players in the offense throughout the remainder of the season.